What's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon, and we're back for episode 7 of the um, Diamond Heights Let's Play series. In the last episode, we built the dinghy slide. Our park value is sitting at 253,000 right now. And um, today, I wanted to build a mini roller coaster because that is what researched in the last episode. And yeah, probably over in this area somewhere, we're just going to start building the pathway out. Um, around the park. Okay, so <clears throat> um, let's jump on this today. And uh, yeah, probably just right here next to the dinghy slide is good. Um, it should fit. The mini roller coasters are pretty small. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's grab this thing. These are actually pretty similar as far as building goes with the dinghy slide, honestly. Um, can do a lot more, obviously, as far as, you know, banking turns and things like that. But just like in the last episode when I talked about, you know, it, it's got to be something to do with the smaller trains just not having as much momentum. They don't make hills as easily as regular roller coasters. <laughs> So when you're building these things, just make sure that the previous hill is always, every single time, it is um, a larger decline than the next incline is. That is the key to making these things work. Because um, if you don't, then the things are going to get stuck and they're going to crash into each other and things like that. And then you're just going to be rebuilding this thing over and over again and it gets really frustrating. Um, and I know that from, you know, playing this game for years and just always having problems with these mini roller coasters, not being able to make hills and inclines and, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so you'll, you'll notice throughout this thing that I'm just keeping the hills, you know, not too crazy. They're all going to be the same, you know. Um, as far as the decline before it is taller than the incline following. These rides are usually pretty short. Okay, you don't want to make these too long. Um, but yeah, now it's built. So let's put in our entrance and our exit. And then we'll go with the toboggan cars for now. Um, I am going to test it in con uh, block section mode, and then I'm going to open it in continuous circuit mode. That way, if the ride doesn't make a hill, it won't come back and crash into another one, and you have to rebuild it. Because guess won't ride rides that have crashed in the past, usually. Okay. Looks like I made that first one just fine. And the second one just fine as well. Those were the kind of the ones that I was most concerned about. And the rest of it, it should be okay. Not the most exciting roller coaster, but that's usually how the mini roller coasters are. You can't make them too long because they won't, like I said, they won't make the inclines um, that easily. So, we'll, uh, everything's in the black. I'm going to go ahead and close it and switch it to circuit. Uh, regular continuous circuit mode continuous circuit mode and notice on the different types of cars the different effects that um, each type of car has and you know the toboggan cars have a plus three excitement plus one intensity the rocket cars have just a plus five excitement rate factor so I don't know why you wouldn't go with the the uh, rocket cars, honestly, if they're going to just increase the excitement rating and not the intensity rating. Let's go ahead and go with the rocket cars on that. Oh, and this is something I forgot happened in the episode. Um, people are again complaining about the pathways being covered in vomit, so I'm going to hire a couple handymen. I'm sorry, I forgot to speed this part up, but I just increased them to 20, so it's not that bad. Alright, so, like I was saying, um, I did this as rocket cars, so we'll let that test while we put in the 
right entrance and exit uh, pathways here. Um, <clears throat> all right, so 5.3 excitement rating. I'm going to change this to more of a spacey type feel since we've got the rocket cars. Okay, again, I'm not going to name it right now. I'll come back and name it later. I'll give you guys a chance to give me some names in the comments that you think would be good for this ride. And then I'll, I'll come back and name it in the future. Speaking of which, as of the recording of this episode, I do need uh, names for, or a name for the wooden wild mouse as well still. So maybe some sort of phobia would be good. Um, or, you know, just any any uh, name in general is going to be okay right now. Now I did think about building another roller coaster in this episode. That's what's happening right now. We researched a compact inverted roller coaster during the building of the mini roller coaster. Okay, so we'll build this in the next episode though. I'm kind of looking around at where I want to put this thing. I don't want to put it in the middle because I want to build a really try to build something really good in the middle and I don't really <laughs> like building compact inverted roller coasters, I'm still gonna do it. <clears throat> um, and I, I, I like to be, you know, do as much variety as possible in these Let's Play series and whenever I build, so that you know you guys see everything that's going on. Now, a problem does arise here. Boat five is stuck on the swans. It's said. So let's check out that. I did just click on that boat that's underneath the haunted house. That's actually boat four. I was a little bit worried about this when I built these swans, but this is just what happens. Looks like boat five did make it way its way back, so we're okay there. We'll leave the swans as they are. I mean, that just happens from time to time, and it's not affecting the park rating or anything like that. So we're okay there. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching this one. We'll go ahead and build the compact inverted roller coaster in the next episode. Um, if you liked the episode, please give me a like. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. See you in the next one.